Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us at Computex 2022. We are honored to bring fresh insights through the online and offline exhibitions. You will be introduced to new products made by the world's most influential tech companies, attend keynotes and forums by industry leaders, and participate in online matchmaking events. I am especially pleased today to introduce our next keynote speakers from Microsoft. Microsoft first participated in Computex in 2003, showcasing Windows Mobile and Windows Embedded. Last year, it released the latest operating system, Windows 11. For nearly two decades, Microsoft has been presenting the latest technology and products at Computex, and it has been a loyal friend of ours ever since. Our next two speakers are Mr. Panos Panay and Ms. Nicole Deason. Both of them are at Computex for the first time. Mr. Panay and Ms. Deason will talk about how Windows 11 empowers customers in a hybrid world. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a warmest welcome to Mr. Panay and Ms. Deason. Hi, I'm Nicole Deason, and I lead the Microsoft Device Partner business. Our team builds, market, and sells intelligent edge devices and cloud solutions with our partner ecosystem. I'm joined today by Panos Panay, Microsoft's Chief Product Officer for the Windows and Devices team. Welcome, Panos. Thanks, Nicole. I'm, uh, I'm super, super excited to be here at Computex. Uh, it's an incredibly busy time for the industry, busy time for all of you here at Computex. Uh, and Nicole and I thought, hey, it'd be a great opportunity for us to just take a moment with you, have a conversation about what's happening with Windows 11 uh, right now. Panos, it's been almost a year since the launch of Windows 11. So let's talk about the momentum. Yeah. I, I want to start with understanding what has surprised you the most. I don't know if surprise is the right word. But I think the whole team has been, it's like this combination of feeling, you know, honored but really humbled by the customers' reactions to Windows 11. The energy is palpable. Again, from a data standpoint, you know, people are accepting the upgrade offer to Windows 11 at twice the rate we saw for Windows 10. And Windows 10 had that great moment, but Windows 11 and its moment next to it, it's, it, you know, that's where the team, it gets a lot of energy because it knows we're kind of driving in the right direction for our customers every day. Businesses right now, they're adopting Windows 11 faster uh, than we saw in previous, any previous version of Windows. And it has the highest quality scores. Here's the most important thing for our team, quality, quality, quality. People using it are, are finding the quality in the product, which has just been awesome. That also translates to product satisfaction. It is the highest product satisfaction of any version of Windows we've ever shipped. So you kind of see that, but really the best part, the best part for me uh, is just seeing the way people are using the new features, finding ways to be more productive, you know, working in kind of this, this new way. Uh, it really is, it really is incredible. Think about snap layouts, you see the usage on that, it's just, phenomenal and it's been a game changer for me personally and watching people just interact in and out of Windows 11 has been awesome. And since its launch, we continue to bring new features, not only improvements in quality and taking the feedback and listening to our customers, but new features. And for those of you maybe who haven't seen the new features and just how they roll out, I mean, it's quite seamless. Take a look here. Voice access wake up. Click engage your virtual event audience. Get the most out of Soundscape Enter list.
I love that video. You know, Panos, recently I heard you say that the launch of Windows 11 was a new era for Windows. Yeah. I would love to hear you say more about that. It's how we thought about it. Even remember when we were building Windows 11, we built it kind of in this hybrid world. And we are entering this new era of computing like right now. The world shifted right in front of all of us. Uh, and it shifted and it's a durable shift. There's a more hybrid way of working. People are living differently with their PCs. The PC has become more essential to everything we are doing. You know this, we have more than 1.4 billion users across the world. That number continues to grow. And while the team was building Windows 11, like I just mentioned, from our homes, our offices, our kitchens, living rooms, at the same time we were figuring out how that product in the future will empower our customers in the new world as we are building it. And so it's this kind of like, this moment where a team can really kind of throttle the benefits of the product as they're building it because they know exactly what's needed because you're living it. And at that point, Windows 11 became the first chapter in what is the development of a new kind of platform. This is a product that adapts with you to all the changing circumstances of your days, your weeks, your life, and a product that moves seamlessly between work, school, home. It's designed for businesses. It works perfectly for individuals. Like, Windows truly is for everyone. And that, I think, is the biggest challenge the team faces. Like, how do you continue to make this product great for everyone and kind of every segment of the business and the business needs out there? And since October, uh, we've announced subsequent chapters, like you saw in the video just now, uh, from the ability to switch between cloud and local desktops with Windows 365, and to the new features redesigned, the integrated apps, the integrated experiences. All these steps are a part of the journey we're on with Windows as we evolve with you, with all of you around the world, so we can keep building this product to meet your needs. And that really is the goal of this team. Like, what do you need and how do we get it to you? Because it's so important right now in this era of computing that we make the PC seamless in your life. And that, that is what hybrid is all about. What else are you seeing, Nicole, in the device partner world around this new hybrid life, if you will? I love that term hybrid life because that's really what this has become. Personally, I really think the term hybrid has become so deeply integrated into everything that we do. But over the past two years, hybrid's really been a lifeline for us. It gave us these really powerful new ways to work. What I find personally interesting is that hybrid can mean so many different things to different people, depending on the context. In the work environment, hybrid can mean more than flexible working styles and locations. It allows us to meet our employees where they are and lead with empathy. Hybrid has completely reinvented learning approaches to address the rapidly changing needs of administrators, educators, students, and communities worldwide. It allowed us to keep students engaged, find new ways of teaching, yeah. and help provide new opportunities and greater equity to so many. And in the context of play, hybrid really gave rise to a totally new way of gaming and interacting across multiple platforms. I'm super excited to see the way this is evolving. I love seeing the connections that develop from collaboration through play. For me, hybrid means flexibility, it means customization, and it's the ability to adapt. In fact, in a recent Future of Work study conducted by Microsoft, we found that 73% of U.S. workers hope that flexible hybrid working options continue post-pandemic. That is a stunning statistic. I'm super proud of the innovation that our partners are delivering to meet the unique demands of the new hybrid life. Our partners are building devices that are purpose-built for hybrid working, learning, and playing. Hybrid also brought with it totally new demands for device performance, and you know this super well, Panos. As customers continue to deploy hybrid working environments, the technologies that they choose to implement and how they choose to implement them is so key. Devices have to support conference calling, presenting, browsing the web, and so much more. So as a result of this, our partners are prioritizing beautiful displays, powerful speakers and microphones, touch and pen capabilities, and these hardware features are designed to light up the capabilities of Windows 11. Okay, so I got another question for you. Yeah, go for it. What are you most proud of with Windows 11? Okay, when I get asked this question, there's, not, there's never one thing I can pick, and that's both because 
One, it'll show my bias on a certain feature or a certain portion of the product, but also because in essence, Windows 11 is a full system. It, it comes together as a package is so beautiful from security to productivity to management. Um, it's all critical, of course, and the team is proud of how all the experiences across those areas and just from a UX standpoint and an engagement standpoint have become pillars of Windows 11. Just watch how people are using the product right now like, and how much they love it. That's what we make these products for. We want people to love what they're using. And of course, we, we don't only love like designing them, creating them, and making them, but, but watching our customers get into it and kind of pull that love out is so important. Um, we continue to design features and products ultimately for that reason, like for customers to just pull out what they need. The other thing that's really important outside of that whole system coming together is the inclusive product making that happens across the entire product. I, I completely agree. I think that's so core. And I have to tell you, I just love that accessibility is foundational to us at Microsoft. I just find it really inspiring that Windows 11 is built with accessibility at the core. I want to hear you talk about what this means for our customers. Well, you said it right, at its core. At its core, it's meant to, and it means we are inspired to design all our products for everyone. And we call that inclusively. You know, we just had our Ability Summit here at Microsoft. It was earlier this month. And for sure, one of the things I'm most proud of is the advancements the team made in accessibility specifically, like being disabled is just part of the human experience. In fact, uh, in the U.S., uh, one in four people are disabled, and in the, in the world all up, it's over a billion. That demographic continues to grow. The team and I were still learning how to create truly inclusive products. I said it earlier, we designed this product for everyone. And when we say everyone, like everyone, um, but we're really excited to share at the summit just last month, we unveiled our new inclusive tech lab where we bring people in and we focus. This is development work where we can bring in members of the disability community, design, test, share, create uh, more inclusive and accessible products. We also announced new adaptive accessories. And they, these, are, these are accessories that can be tuned uh, to exactly what anyone needs. It's a whole new adaptive hardware ecosystem built on the foundation of our history into a fully customizable but also programmable system. It gives you the power to make the product that you need or the product that you want. And this is critical. We have the Microsoft Adaptive Mouse, small, lightweight, highly customizable mouse, supports a variety of tail attachments. We have the Bluetooth enabled adaptive hub. This is really cool. It basically replaces your traditional keyboard. And I gotta tell you, like just watching others use it, it's pretty rad. And we have the buttons to go alongside it and basically completing that experience, empowering you to create. These are unique in a way where now you can customize them. Uh, every piece is further customizable through 3D printing. And so there's just these little details. And of course, details, details matter, but every single one of them make a difference. So when you're designing for everyone, there's choice. And that really matters, especially in, with this community. And finally, and as we talk about Windows 11, we shared our new accessible features within Windows. We have live captions, we have natural voices, we have voice access, like there's so much happening. Uh, it's, it really is inspiring, but it really comes down to the team thinking about inclusive design from the moment we start creating the next portion or part or the holistic product. Designing uh, inclusively is so important. The way people are using this product, I love it. And I kind of had to hold back because the other part of the product that I love so much is the devices, the devices, the devices. And I've seen a tremendous, I mean, you see it here, but an incredible amount of innovation from our partners, like the incredible. And it gives me so much energy to see it all. But can you share a little bit more about that, Nicole? Probably you're the best person to just kind of share what's happening out there. Oh my gosh. I, I'm so inspired by this. So I'm excited that you're excited about no, no, it too. How could I not be? <laughs> and you know, with an increased focus on performance, on security, sustainability, the devices that our partners are bringing to market right now are just extraordinary. And the great thing is they light up the new features in Windows 11. I'm really excited about the recent announcements from our partners. For example, just in the last month alone, Acer, Asus, Dell, HP, and Lenovo all brought new devices to market. 
So I think the best way to see all of these devices in one place is to take a look at this video. All right, Nicole, that is, that is really inspiring. The Microsoft partner ecosystem right now is firing on all cylinders. I mean, it really is delivering. You got it. I, and I just love seeing these devices. They're beautiful, they're powerful, and they're sustainable. In addition to new features and functionality, each of them has some pretty cool new tech. And, and I just, I have to share a little bit about it. So Acer Swift 3 OLED laptop ensures that a user's voice comes through loud and clear with the Acer purified voice with AI noise. This makes video calls way more productive. The Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 14 dual screen laptop features a bigger and brighter next gen 12.7 inch screen pad plus a secondary touch screen giving creators a new powerful yet really compact device that delivers a punch. And I love that the Dell Latitude 9330 was designed with video calls in mind. With easy access to conference call capabilities like microphone mute, unmute, video on and off, and screen share. Now, I don't know about you, but I love a good filter. And the HP Spectre X360 will let you look your best with a five megapixel glam cam with appearance filter, backlight adjustment, and auto frame. It even features a physical camera shutter for privacy. And last but not least, weighing in at less than 3.5 pounds, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 is built to go virtually anywhere while packing the pure performance needed for digital content creation. Seeing all that value on Windows 11 devices coming to market, uh, that's energizing, it's inspiring. Okay, let me just, let me switch gears really quick and ask you a different question. Services are so critical um, as we design Windows 11, like how our customers engage a product, how the services play a key role in the adoption of Windows 11. How do you feel services are changing the way we engage with the product? You know, Windows 11 just completely shifted the landscape so much. And our mission with our device partners becomes more critical than ever through this lens. Devices like the ones I just mentioned are frankly just the beginning of the story. What really takes this a step further is that our partners know it's no longer enough to just create a great device. That's the minimum baseline that customers expect. So like I said before, customer needs have changed just so dramatically in the last two years. And as their needs evolve, the devices that we all create and build have to give customers the tools that they need to live, work, yep. learn, and play when and wherever they want. That's our job. And what makes our devices and value proposition really, really powerful is taking the best devices, adding on the best cloud services. And those services make the Windows PC more valuable to the customer. I like to think of this as the cloud services and experiences. It's really important for us to understand what the customer scenarios are. As I look at this with our partner ecosystem, I think what really differentiates our approach is that we work with partners to build devices with cloud services in mind from the beginning. Right. How do we ensure that customers have the best display, the most immersive sound and accessories that are seamless to use no matter where the device is used, and then we marry that with services like Microsoft 365, Teams, and of course, for all those gamers out there, PC Game Pass, or for students, services like Minecraft for Education. Windows 11 and Microsoft 365 enables partners to deliver the zero trust ready identity and security services that commercial customers demand. 
all of our partners, from ISVs to system integrators, security providers, and hardware manufacturers, all play a critical role in this customer discussion. How we protect everything across clouds, platforms, devices, identities, and of course data. And that's why Microsoft continues to invest in our partner ecosystem to enable this really, really important work that our partners do in support of customers every single day. So one thing I know people are really curious about is the innovation around Windows 365. Yeah. It's been in market almost a year. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about what we're seeing and, and just explain a little bit more about it? Uh, of course, of course I would love to. Look, Windows 365 essentially takes Windows directly to the cloud with a new category for hybrid personal computing. We call this a cloud PC. It's powerful to be able to take Windows 365 through the browser, so it's your personalized Windows experience with all your apps, settings, data securely stored in the Microsoft Cloud and streamed to any device. It works on any PC, but I will tell you this, it absolutely works best with the integration of Windows 11 Pro. And you got to try it if you haven't used Windows 365 with Windows 11 Pro. It's an amazing experience. Now, over the past year, we've seen so much excitement about this new way to deliver Windows. We're going to keep looking forward we're to integrate more of cloud and client and continuously do so. We're going to truly bring Azure Compute right to your Windows PC. You think about that as one of the most powerful computers in the world extending from your PC. I can't wait to see how customers, partners, and developers continue to lean in and just drive even more experiences with all that power. Okay, Panos, I want to shift gears a little bit. And I want us to talk about the really durable demand for the PC. Recently, Intel's Stu Pan said at one of their events, we suggest ecosystem leaders and category captains plan their business around a 1 million PC unit per day opportunity. So what are you seeing? And how are we prepared to address the needs of our global customers? We talked about it, the PC is essential. And you know, as we shift to more and more hybrid models, this is durable. The intensity of usage on the PC has gone up. Um, you will continue to see demand go up for PCs. It'll be cyclical, uh, but because that structural increase has happened, we as an industry, we need to be ready to provide products for our customers. And you see them, like the innovation in these products from all of our silicon partners, uh, AMD, Intel, Qualcomm, from all of our device partners as they continue. And you saw the devices earlier, you saw them all. I mean, they're amazing. But ultimately, it's our job in this industry to be ready. And you know, there's been enough challenges, of course, over the last two years, we've, we've lived through them together. Um, but there's such an opportunity here to evolve the PC uh, the platform, the experience in a way that, you know, will will deliver for generations to come. Uh, uh, I, I completely agree, Panos. I think there's a massive opportunity for this ecosystem to plan right now for this kind of durable demand. We know deeply that PC usage patterns have changed. The ways we communicate, we tackle daily tasks or consume content, Windows and the PC are at the center of all of this. Windows has seen a six times increase in people using communication and collaboration apps. Cisco WebEx, Slack, Zoom, and of course, Microsoft Teams. In addition, the way that content is produced, distributed, and consumed has changed dramatically. Since the start of the pandemic, 70% more people streamed content across Hulu, Netflix, and YouTube on Windows and monthly gaming minutes grew over 35%. More than ever, people expect to be in control of what, when, and where they watch, play, stream, and post. And increasingly, the PC is at the center of all of that. Everyday tasks like grocery shopping, doctor's appointments, you going to the gym, even eating out have evolved through the PC. Telemedicine grew 300%. There was a 500% growth in people seeking to buy online, pick up, and store versus two years ago. And in Windows, twice as many people are using their PC to shop, and they're spending 40% more time shopping online. I think every single one of us has a role to play in making that $1 million per day a reality. We have to plan right now for parts availability. We have to work together to increase capacity. 
And every single one of you can count on help from Microsoft to ensure that building Windows 11 PCs is highly efficient and environmentally thoughtful at the same time. So another thing I'm really proud of is the work that Microsoft and our partners are doing to address the fundamental need for uncompromised security for their PC. I know we talked a little bit about security earlier, but specifically, I'd love to hear your thoughts on secured core PC. What makes this so unique and why is it such a big advancement? Windows 11, we say it a lot, it's the most secure version of Windows ever, but it's because Microsoft made groundbreaking investments to help ensure our customers are truly secure with the hardware innovations. Starting from the very beginning of designing Windows 11, we have advanced hardware-based protections built in. It's from the silicon through the actual boot process. So to log in and extend all the way through every app, Secure Core PC delivers that. Like, this includes layers of security from the chip all the way to the cloud, and it balances the evolving needs of both the, you know, the security that we all have, um, but also to be able to be productive securely from anywhere. And I think that's the way I like saying it. You can be as productive as you want, as secure as you possibly can be from anywhere in the world. And that's the fundamental summary of what a Secure Core PC is. You know, we have awesome momentum with Secure Core PCs. Yeah. Secure Core PC is now broadly supported by so many of our partners. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list them all. All right. Acer, Asus, Dell, Dynabook, Fujitsu, GTAC, HP, Lenovo, LG, MSI, NEC, Panasonic, and Samsung, as well as our silicon partners, AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm. Since we're talking about security, let's talk about Microsoft Pluton security and that processor. It is one of the coolest security evolutions uh, for Windows customers to date. Uh, the Pluton security processor takes the existing protection of Windows a step further by bringing the power of the cloud directly to the hardware. Pluton is flexible and updatable security processor that it combines the power of a TPM and a CPU all into one chip. For devices configured with Pluton as a root of trust, we have added yet another layer of security right into the CPU silicon, where the TPM and CPU are both essentially part of the same chip. This means sensitive information no longer travels over a communication channel between two chipsets, and therefore it's much more challenging to intercept by a common hardware attacker. This is the most inspirational part of Pluton for me. And what's more is that Windows 11 updates will further integrate Pluton and Windows to drive hardware-backed security capabilities for customers on all Pluton-equipped devices. This is really powerful. Partners like AMD and Qualcomm really leaned in to deliver on this innovation, and it's real impact. These Microsoft Pluton-powered PCs deliver advanced security down to the firmware level. A secure biofingerprint reader and IR camera with privacy shutter support Windows Hello for secure logins. Every single model offers advanced connectivity with Wi-Fi 6 to ensure a smooth wireless experience and optional LTE support so business travelers can enjoy immediate connectivity wherever they are. We're seeing great momentum with our device partners for these Pluton-powered PCs as well. At CES, Lenovo announced the ThinkPad Z13 and Z16 powered by the AMD Ryzen 6000 series processor. Then, just a month later at Mobile World Congress, Lenovo announced the ThinkPad X13S, but with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3, which is the first ARM platform for Windows that's built on the Microsoft Pluton security architecture. Then, just last week, Acer announced the new Acer Travelmate P4 and Acer Travelmate Spin P4 laptops with AMD Ryzen Pro processors. They feature built-in Pluton hardware security designed by Microsoft. Pluton is technology that's integrated directly into the processor. They're also designed with sustainability in mind. These eco-friendly laptops use up to 37.7 PCR, which is post-consumer recycled plastic, and 100% recycled packaging materials. Panos, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course. I have to tell you, I'm really excited about what the new era of Windows has in store for all of us. Yeah, we all are excited, and, and thank you for that. We are just most excited to see all of you use our products, our partners lean into Windows 11 as we continue to evolve what's next. Let's do it together. As we close, 
I want to offer a heartfelt thank you to our entire partner ecosystem for everything you do to drive this incredible innovation for Windows. I am confident that collectively we can meet the very real durable demand that the world needs right now. Thank you so much for joining us today.